So tonight I want to do a video for you guys um, unboxing this um, Geek Hum three spring form pans. Okay, so I bought these from Amazon and um, last night actually, late, late last night and they came today. It's a set of spring form pans and you get the um, icing knives there and I think it's supposed to have something else inside as well to line the pan like um, <sighs> parchment paper. So the spring form pans, it says instant you can use it in the instant pot um, I never knew you could use it in a microwave but this says microwave you can put it in the freezer and dishwasher safe so I have not used um, spring farm pans in years you guys just been a very long time since I've um, used any spring farm pans so these no doubt are updated so here you have the flat spatula. You can use this for when you're icing the cake. See, this one is for ice, icing the cake. And there is the other one that has the curve to it. It's like that little curve design. I guess for going around the, the edges when you wanna frost or ice a cake. Um, okay, so this one, it has three sizes, so it's supposed to be, I think, a four inch, seven inch, and a nine inch. So here is your four inch pan. It's so tiny, it's really tiny and cute. And you know how spring farm pans work. You open here and it, that's where the lock mechanism, me mechanism is. So I noticed that this pan on the inside is smooth. This one has the original design that I know of. Like it's, it has that ribbed design there. So this is your seven inch pan. And then These, these are parchment papers, but this is the dyed um, parchment paper because usually the parchment paper looks a bit yellow. So this is a set of 60, and those go for lining the four inch pan. Then there's another set of 60 here, and these are for the seven inch pan. And this is why I got this particular set because it came with the two spatulas and um, these. So those are supposed to fit that, put that there. And then down in this one, it has the nine inch ones. And this is also a pack of 60. So these are the nine inch ones to line your nine inch spring form pan. So, that's that. So let's move these out of the way because I have something else I would like to unbox for you guys. So in my kitchen, I use glass bowls and the glass bowls tend to be heavy. I have some that are very, very heavy so I picked up this set of um, stainless steel mixing bowls and uh, here it talks about it's food grade um, stainless steel fingerprint proof that means it's not supposed to leave a lot of fingerprints on it it's dishwasher safe lightweight to the touch and I needed it to be lightweight because like I said the, um, the glass balls have gotten quite heavy. So in this, I get a three, quart, um, three quarters um, size, which would be the tiny one. 
one and a half ball, a three quart ball, four, five, and an eight quart. So this one is um, Fine Dine. It's by Fine Dine. And uh, on the other side, on the other side, it has telling you it's um, six piece set, wide rim for seamless pour. Um, it's stackable for storage. So it's, it, it says um, stable, stable bottom. So the bottom is um, stable. So it doesn't like wobble and be unbalanced when you're prepping. And of course they stack. Um, this is what the box looks like. It's a big box. And I'm gonna go ahead and open her up. These are the, um, the bowls pictured on the side right there. All right, so I'm just gonna rest the camera here. And then we're gonna open up the box. Gotta be careful not to hurt my hand again, my, my thumb area, my wrist, my wrist with my thumb. Okay, so this is like a little about us and congratulations um, on your purchase. They have this in the box. And here they are all nested together. Just gonna show you that really quickly. All right, so you can see they all nested together the balls. And then, so this is your small bowl. It does feel really light, you guys. It does feel very light so I should be able to use these with no problem because they feel light to the touch you see the bottom how they designed the bottom so that it should be stable and not bounce around when you are using it and it has this um, kind of roughened uh, stainless steel texture on the outside so yeah it doesn't become a fingerprint magnet all right, so here's our second bowl. So the second bowl is your one and a half size. This goes into that. Our third bowl is gonna be um, four, four quart, which is this one. I like these. I am liking these already. Okay. And then on the bottom there, it's fine dine. And it tells you, actually this is a three quart. This is a three quart, 2.8 liter. I like that. They put the quantity, um, the volume thing on the bottom. This one now is your four quart. See, it says four quart. And then this one goes into this one. This is what I needed, you guys, and the set was, I think, $19 for the six-piece set. Um, I had been looking at different, different um, ones before, and then when I, I just kept searching and I saw this one. I was going to buy a three-piece set for the $19, but then I did some additional, additional search, and I found these for $19. I couldn't beat it because of six pieces, I get all the sizes I need. Because sometimes when I'm baking, I need to pour stuff from my KitchenAid and finish mixing in a larger bowl. So this is the five quart. This is a five quart. So that one nest in there. And now we have our big eight quart, I think this one is. Yep. And the eight quart, is really really big you guys see that it's a big bowl and i can see me mixing batter in this um seasoning stuff in there like when i want to do a big batch of maybe curry or whatever and of course the curry is not going to stain this just like it doesn't stain the glass bowls 
But like I said, the glass bowls have proven to be quite heavy for my hand lately. So, yeah. So that's it. Just want to share this Amazon um, purchase with you guys. I do have some other things coming in from Amazon in various places. And some of it I might share with you guys. But for tonight, that is it. Thank you for watching my um, kitchen haul. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Enough love. Be safe, stay well, bye-bye.